Oh, damn. All right, so we found the diary. What else can we do in here? Can we still not go up here? Still haven't figured that out, eh? Alright, what happens if we go back to the main... Can we talk to this dude? His face is familiar to you, but you don't know where from. Good morning. Do we know each other? Absolutely. Since about five seconds ago, my friend. Marcel Richard, draftsman at your service. Do you like antiques, Marcel? No, to tell the truth. I am hiding from my creditors. Oh, damn. If you see a short blonde man who looks like money come in, you let me know. Alrighty. You wouldn't happen to know anything about alchemy by any chance? Absolutely. Mix vodka with lemon, whiskey with soda, or rum with pineapple juice. None of these transforms metal into gold, but they do something better. They transform women into goddesses. <laughs> I'm looking for a diary. It's supposed to be in the back room, but if you should run across it here... I shall make it my personal quest, my friend. If I have to kill someone to get your diary, I'll do it. That's kind of unsettling. Alright, I guess we can talk to her. Although you dare not ask her again, you remember. I don't understand what you mean about doing it for your father. I saw the same excitement in you that I saw in him. Notre Dame, alchemy, the order of the flesh. You're both after the same thing. What are you afraid of? The same thing will happen to you as to him. He took his own life, John. I don't know if it was the investigation or what, but he took his own life. Was it Mercury? Do you know why you're... No, never mind. I excuse me. Why my father committed suicide? No. He'd spent the entire day with an American collector. They made some good deals. The man was going to pay us a lot of money. We were going to restore the store, travel. When I woke up the next morning, he had hanged himself. What was your father like? My father was a good man. He was quiet, affectionate, solitary. He hardly left the house after my mother died. Did your father share his hobby with anyone? A friend, for example? When I was a little girl, yes. A strange man. Choke! He went by the name of... Choke, I think. He became stranger and stranger as time went by. That was the old guy with the chess game. One day he disappeared and never came back. All right, what else can we click on in here? Uh, I think we might be... Wait, to look for something Skytail in here. You look on all the shelves in the room, but you don't find anything that could be considered a Skytail. What about in here? You open the nine compartments, but they're all empty. All right, they were empty before. Do you have anything new to say? No, they don't. Alright, goodbye. A Confederate soldier from the American Civil War. Just because it's related to the history of your country doesn't mean you can take it with you. A simple principle that many governments forget to apply. <laughs> I don't know where this Skytail thing would be. I guess it's got to be in the back room. Anything on here? There's nothing left on the shelves that can be of use to you. What the fuck am I going to use the oil lamp with? Use it with the door? Oh, you oil the door hinges, something that doesn't for the moment help you in any way whatsoever, but by dumb luck you do something that will save you an unpleasant surprise in the future. Oh, really? Why is that? <laughs> Where the fuck is this Skytail thing? Do we have a clue yet? Petty's diary can't remain totally unscathed. Can you do anything to damage it? Oh. There's 
Fuck it, stop it. The ultraviolet light reveals that Petit wrote something on the rubber band on the diary, but you have no idea what it means. There's a way of deciphering the message Petit wrote in the rubber band. It's going to involve removing it from the diary. It's not going to do any good. You roll the rubber band onto the hexagonal bar without stretching it. The sky tail was a system used by the Spartans to encode their messages. The sender wrapped a leather strip around a faceted bar and wrote the text. The messenger received only the strip, impossible to decipher on its own, and delivered it to the recipient, who possessed a bar identical to that of the sender and who was able to decipher the message. St. Fergus Church, Inverloch, Scotland. Wow, the text went fast. For someone who deserves an explanation. Amnesia. I was poisoned with mercury. Some things I don't know, but I do have some answers, thanks to your father's diary. Henry White is... Henry White will be most pleased to learn this. The diary. I killed the girl just like I killed her father. Oh my god! What the fuck? Hands up. Get out, you bastard. Get out, or I'll make you drink mercury again after I finish off the girl. Out! What the fuck? Why did we run? What the fuck do we do now? Oh my god, this game is just starting to confuse me no matter what the fuck. <sighs> shit. I can leave it here, but Pauline is in no position to take it from the other side. Fuck. I want I need to stash the diary. fuck are we gonna get out of here? Can I go back out? You can't go out there without a plan. Well, I don't have a plan, dude. I don't want to leave anything there. I'm not a smart person. After trying various keys, you find the one that fits in the lock, unlocked door. Go through quietly. You unlock the door and open it with care. And... Taking the samurai sword, motherfuckers! We're gonna kill this bitch! It's not the first time you wielded a sword like this. Flashback. Three months. Searching. Death. Or maybe. Death is not your destiny. We're like Batman. We're gonna get trained by the Shadow League. Master. Tell me who I... You are a What the fuck?
That was a quick haircut. Dude, we were a badass. Staring down rattlesnake? Or, no, I guess that's not a rattlesnake. Cobras. Fuck. Did you find what you are seeking? I'm not seeking it anymore. I don't even remember what it was. Ah, your memory. And now, what are you seeking? Your teachings. You already have them. But... And swordsmanship? You are not ready. And the unknown sense? You are not ready. When will I be? Bring me a truth flower. And you'll teach me to use the unknown sense? Bring me a truth flower. Oh, what? Where are we now? On the table, a book with blank pages that Olhak, the blind man, reads every night. You're not especially interested in the flower pot or the little jars. It's about time the master let you fight with the katana resting in the jaws of the dragon yak. Your master still hasn't authorized you to use this katana. The water you drink and the ladle for measuring out your daily ration. Although you've already consumed your daily ration of water from the jar, you don't see any problem with taking the ladle you use to collect it. The clothes you were wearing when you got here. You're forbidden to wear your own clothes while you're being taught by Olak Adrift. Bring him a truth flower. You don't understand why the master has it closed on a day like this. You can't reach the window to open it, and your master doesn't let you on his prayer altar. False window. You can't open it or close it. Though it's a false window. I guess we gotta leave. An incense burner that never burns out. This incense is of no use to you. You can't understand why Olhak Adrift, the blind master, has so many candles and lanterns. You don't need the candles. And all the time you've been there, you've never seen a bird alight there. It's too far away. The candle is not lit. One of the unusual scenarios of your apprenticeship. You won't climb onto this beam unless Olhak orders you to. Alright. Someone made the rope disappear during the night. The log is too heavy for you to lift by yourself. Prayer windmills with drawings is like those prayers. You make the windmill spin, releasing the prayers depicted on it to the wind. Damn, it's a big bell. It has an ominous sound. No matter how hard you hit it with your hand, it won't make any sound. Cereals and legumes. You take just one bag. Alright, we gotta bring this guy a truth flower. I don't know where we're gonna find one. You said you were using to carry your belongings when you arrived. You leave the slip, but you decide to take the rope that you used to tie your belongings to it. It died, despite the fact that the soil is planted and is rich and fertile. The layer of ice covering the soil prevents you from pulling up the dead bush. The mechanism that the crank moves has been jammed since before you arrived. You can't get the crank to turn. What the fuck are we supposed to do? The icicles look like fangs. You couldn't take any of the icicles even if you wanted to because you can't reach them or break them off with your hands. It's over here. The bed contains salt, which you sprinkled on the bridge in the road to keep the snow and ice from making them impassable. You don't need the half empty bag or the tiny bit of salt that's left in it. The road that brought you here when you thought you were as good as dead. You won't cross these mountains again until Olhak Adrift teaches you to use the unknown sense. Four planks left over from when you repaired the floor in the meditation room. You pick up the four planks, all still in good shape despite the bad weather. Alright, so where is this truth flower going to be? We can't really go anywhere else but here. I guess we go back inside. Both ends of the log must be at the same level for, you, for it to be of any use to you. Too short. Hmm. 
is the truth flower. Why can't I hold the katana, Master? Pick it up. Can I take it with me? If you take it out of this room, I'll replace the yak's skull with yours. What is the unknown sense, Master? In reality, it is nothing more than knowing how to fight in the dark. But I thought it would sound more mystical if I called it unknown sense. <laughs> Am I right? What is the truth flower? An ordinary flower from an ordinary bush. But, basically, and where you're <laughs> concerned, it's an ordinary mind fuck to test you. What an asshole. I believe there is a truth flower on a nearby peak on top of a nest. That's true. But unless you learn to fly, you're going to have a hard time. Think, young disciple. Why do you want me to bring you a truth flower and not something else? Because that will demonstrate that you have the wisdom, the patience, and the perseverance required to learn control of the unknown sense. I understand. Bah! Do you know what it is? We masters like to feel like gods. And gods like to pose arbitrary challenges. Don't eat this apple. Don't work on Saturday. <laughs> Don't touch yourself there. What are we having for dinner today? Sampa. What will we have for dinner tomorrow? Sampa. What will we have for dinner the day after tomorrow? Sampa. What will we have for dinner tomorrow? Sampa. <laughs> Shall we play? Let's play. Decide how many fingers you want to hold out. Okay. Try to guess the total number of fingers you and Olhak will be holding out. Seven? You could be bluffing, but I say eight. Let's take a look. I will. What? I'll add another glass of water to the ones you already owe me. What? Shall we play? Let's play. Three? You could be bluffing, but I say zero. Let's take a look. How does he do it? I How win. does he do it? I'll add a no He's blind. Shall we play? Let's play. I'm going to hold up five, and I'm going to say seven. Seven? You could be bluffing, but I say three. Let's take a look. No winner. What a pity. Oh, damn. Shall we play? That time. Let's play. Four fingers. Five. Five? You could be bluffing, but I say seven. Let's take a look. No winner. What a pity. I'm going to beat you, old man. Shall we play? Let's. I'm going to beat you. Five? You could be bluffing, but I say six. Let's take a look. Son of a bitch. I win. I'll add another glass of water to the ones you already owe me. Ugh. Oh, Fuck that.